going to be doing another wig review because you know I'm going to bring them out because I bought so many wigs as you guys know on Black Friday. So today I'm going to talk about Outre. Um, this is a lace front wig in the style Honey. So I'm excited. It's a blonde wig. It's been a minute I feel like since I had like a blonde blonde wig. Um, the color is DX3276. So a lot of numbers and all that stuff. So here she is. Hopefully she's pretty. I was iffy about this wig, but it was only $10. So I got it super, super cheap because they had like a lot of $10 wigs on Black Friday. So I was like, let me get this and this and this and this and this. No, <laughs> I got a couple, like a lot of wigs. So you're going to see a lot. I just dropped my Oh my goodness. Okay, so here is what she looks like. I feel like this is one of the lighter wigs I've ever gotten. Um, it is kind of orangey, I guess, brassy color, but it does have platinum blonde in the highlights. Uh, she is a harder lace. This lace is super hard. And then it has three combs in the front and then a comb in the back with adjustable straps. Common, common. Um, I guess you can kind of part her where you want to part her. I never, I didn't actually see, or it's just no parting at all. Okay, there's no parting at all, so you kind of just flip her over, and hopefully she does what she do, because I've just, I don't know, I've never seen a wig like this, kind of, with no, absolutely no parting. So, we're going to see how this is. She looks really long, though, but she gets thinner on the ends, so that's interesting. So I'm going to cut the lace and I'll be right back to style her and figure out how this is going to work for me. So let me cut the lace and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like straight out the packaging. As you can see, everything is going backwards. Um, there's no parting, so I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. The ends are kind of thin, so right now it kind of looks absolutely crazy. Um... I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do with it. I'm gonna try to like do like this flip thing. Cause on the packaging, it says just put it on and then brush the hair and then you got it, you're good to go. But right now I feel like it's not good to go. It looks crazy, but hopefully I'll figure something out because I do like the color, it is different. And I don't know if it works with my skin tone. Um, hopefully it does. Um, but uh, let me style it. I'm just going to brush it pretty much until it goes the way I want it to go. Okay, I'm back. And I honestly did not know what to do with it. Like, she has this weird hump thing going on. It's because all the hair was pushed back. And then I'm trying to push it forward. And it wants to stay back but forward. So it gives it that hump action. But, I mean, she has, like, potential, but I feel like it's not going to work because the parting, it's, like, non-existing. So you're always going to know that it's, like, a wiggy kind of looking thing. And I don't know if this color is flattering for me at all. Like, I feel like I look absolutely crazy. The hair is super, super thin. So I am kind of glad that I got it for $10, but I don't know. Like, it's just not not what I expected I guess but I didn't expect much she is super long she does go to like my my butt so she is really really long so that's a plus on that side but other than that I don't know she sheds a ton there's hair everywhere like when I was brushing it um it was shedding like crazy like I don't know let me show you what it looks like if I don't put it behind the ear I don't know I just don't feel like it's enough hair for like the length it's at because there is a lot of layers but it kind of made the ends like super super thin and also like the whole wig in general is like really thin this is all the hair you get like it just doesn't seem like a lot of hair and um yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know maybe it'd be more flattering if the roots were darker because right now the roots aren't dark so it's just light all around my face and I don't know if I can pull off like super blonde wigs I'm not even sure you guys can let me know if I can pull off this color or not but yeah if it actually had like parting I feel like it would be a lot better because it wouldn't have whatever this is because that's weird I don't know it's just really weird I really wanted to like this wig because I wanted to like step out of my comfort zone and do like something like almost platinum blonde. 
so yeah but it didn't quite work out for me <laughs> but the plus side of it the hair feels really soft it's really really soft it doesn't really get tangled when I like run my fingers through it so that's a plus um the cap is very secure on my head like you can it kind of makes it look like I have blonde roots if you can see that I know right here you can see my hair but if you push it forward then you won't see any of your hair so the cap construction is really nice it's just it doesn't have parting it does shed it's super thin and yeah so I think it's worth about like ten dollars I know it's so mean but um I know this is an older wig so I don't know if it's still on sale. If it is, I'll leave it in the description box if you guys actually want this wig. Let me know if you like this wig, if it's a go or if it's a fail. Um, but if you guys do enjoy uh, wig reviews, also remember to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!